you guys. I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our exporting minorities and uh, suppressing natives campaign here in EU4. And we are trying, 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 trying to get that mill tech. Um, as much as I would like to say I think I can hang with the French, I don't think I can. And I still have low manpower. So this has just been rough all around. So we have... But we currently have negative 1%. Okay, that's fine. Um, as long as the trade is going over there, that's all that really matters to me. We definitely need to make sure that we are working through this stuff. So I'm thinking a war with uh, a war with Kilwa might be in the books for us. Maravi is in here. Don't care about them. And Mogadishu is quite strong. But uh, I reckon if there's not too much unrest over here... Yeah, there definitely is unrest over here. Hmm. We could also totally send some money, spend some money on these things over here and uh, get a bit more money sent our way. Um, so let's see here. Where is this guy here? So these guys are out of sailors. Let's go ahead and detach the transports. And then have our transports make their way over this way. Uh, right, let's have you guys come on over here. Pick those guys up. I will have them suppress those rebels for the time being. We are ahead in admin. So let's go ahead and coral that all up. That will help us with our income a bit. Making lots of money now, which is really good. Let's make sure that we're spending our points on getting a bit of extra production efficiency in these areas. Uh, it's fine. Definitely taking some attrition. <laughs> All right, very good. We are making good progress with this over here. Um, Definitely want to make sure that I'm getting rid of these rebels here. 79 mil is just so dumb. That is so stupid expensive. Let's go ahead and have those guys brought over there. And then let's go ahead and recall these guys from here. And send them over here. There we go. Have those guys come over there. This one will be the prestige for changing. Let's go ahead and see how my vassals are looking. Make sure we're converting for our vassals. It's, an, it's very important. It's very important. They need to be rightful Catholics. Um, speaking of that, let's see here. Do we have any claims that our vassal does not? So we can totally attack the Aztecs directly. They're in uh, full-on vassal mode. Do they have any allies that would be joining them? No. So let's go ahead and take uh, whichever ones we can. Pats, whatever. New Spain, we'll send some men over. So that'll be fine. Um, I'll just run up to his capital though. Let them fight it out. I never care about that one. Don't care about the Portuguese noble rebels either. Let's get you guys down here. All right, very good. So this will be, go ahead and suppress the rebels there. Or the, I don't know why I keep saying suppress rebels. That's so funny. It's literally like not intentional at all. I sound super racially <laughs> insensitive. <laughs> um, so we got the 600 required to get our bit of extra oomph over here. So let's go ahead and do that. And what does that change to? So it's an extra 0.3 a month, not bad. Definitely want to make sure I'm powering through this idea group. So let's go ahead and uh, recruit another general. He's dog shite. So let's go ahead and grab you. We are going to go ahead and attack these guys. <clears throat> I'm not too concerned about it. This is a fort right here. Is it maintained? It is. He's at war. So he's at war with who? Mogadishan conquest. So he's in an offensive war against who? Or Sangali. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and actually send 
you guys up there with half half the men. That sounds about right. This will allow us to get all this coastline, basically all of this. We're probably even gonna jump up here and take this. These four up here. And then maybe this one here. Um, and then I would also like to get a claim on these guys. So let's go ahead and start working on that. Spy network. It might even sell us a, uh, oh my gosh, look at that name. Oh my goodness, that's a crazy name. Okay, cool. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just win that war. We should just be able to have these guys handle this for us. Diplo rep, very nice. All right, so who else are we at war with? Basically, I don't care. I just want to take all of this. Oh, I suppose if we control all of this, we'll be able to. All right, I just need to make sure that, because uh, Kilwa can also usually land a pretty large army. Um, Stab cost or max promoted cultures. Culture costs, culture conversion is fine. We're not going to be really doing that, but it does allow us to export minorities at a cheaper cost. I think it's going to be time to go to war with Britain here pretty soon as well. It doesn't have any allies that I care about except for uh, Sweden, and uh, I reckon his navy is quite strong compared to mine. Seven heavies, so we could actually totally beat him. Let's go ahead and build a couple galleys. We still have no... Damn, dude. Right, because we're repairing all of our ships. Let's see here. Having our ships protect here is bringing us in 22 a month. What about having them privateer Constantinople? Not hunt pirates. Privateer in Constantinople. So, we are at 42 ducats a month. Let's see what that does. So that's going down quite a bit, but it lowers Ottomans down to 17, 18 ducats a month. I think for now, that is probably gonna be worth it. Um, I think hurting him is gonna be more important than helping me, especially if I could get a bit of extra trade power over here. Let's see what's going on with these. Definitely don't need those. Um, let's see here. Could probably put uh, trade power over on this one. Upgrade Cadiz. Is this not a state? I don't have. Oh, I'm at war. So let's see here. 57 up to what? Getting everything converted as well, which is very nice. So it's going from what? 57 up to 58. That's the stuff right there. <laughs> okay. Just need to make sure we're winning the siege. Like I said, Kilwa is definitely not above having just like a random doom stack pop out of these this uh, fog of war and killing me off. Oh, I totally just fat fingered the D key when I went to hit C. Very nice. I love losing mill points when I'm trying to get caught up on mill tech. <laughs> That's a good fat finger. Very good. Somehow we got two disease outbreaks there, I'm pretty sure. Okay, free colonists, so let's send them around here. So this is all Malacus. Make sure this is all looking good for us. We have a lot of trade power over here. So... I wonder, where are we at in Caramando? So close. Um, hmm. Global trade has been spawned by us, as if that was ever a question. Beautiful. It's a nice little boost to our, uh, our tech. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, wow. So somebody else vassalized somebody and took control of the war. So that's pretty cool. Let's see here. Definitely would like to take as much as I possibly can, honestly. Um, something like this. It's 175 AE. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. But uh, is there any gold? Ooh, that's a lot of grain. And then we can 
start to wow that'd be a lot of grain huge 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 bumps to our uh, colonies force limit which would be awesome as long as they can afford it they will build up let's go ahead and just see what's going on over here might have to ooh that's some rebels that I don't want to fight let's go ahead no general shouldn't be an issue go pretender rebels are usually a pain in the booty but apparently they're not today there we go let's go ahead and siege this down we'll probably end up just needing to run over and siege that real quick so we can just separate piece him give us some extra war score there we go now mexico is proper catholic i'd like to see it Let's go ahead and get you guys over there. Get you guys over there. Ooh, hello there. I'd rather you didn't. Let's come on down there. Okay, so there's a 12 stack running in with another 12 stack running in to help them out. Beautiful. That is what a holy war is all about. Um, so let's take a look at this mill tech. 13 to 15. Maneuvers a 1 to a 1. So Val's a pretty good emperor. I don't want to make him into a, uh, do a general if I can avoid it. Um, we don't have a... Unfortunate. Um, he'll be disloyal for a couple months. I don't care about that. Very good. Let's get our policies opened up. Take our religious unity and missionary strength. And I think... Oh, those are both pretty good, honestly. I'm just going to go with it. I'll lose the diplo point. That's fine. We're barely behind on tech. We're not even behind on tech. We're on time with tech. Um, I think I'll just wait on this. Wait, did we win? We didn't. Portugal won. That is so wild. Um, do I care about the Diplo rep? Not really. Let's just go ahead and spend our points. So these guys want to run up there. So they're locked in. Let's see if I can get them without a general. There we go. Beautiful. Go ahead and get these guys all siege down over here. So it looks like, um, I don't care about Saklava. We have to win this fort right there, and there we go. Very nice. There's going to be a ton of rebels over here. So let's just go ahead and suppress them. He's not going to have enough points to core all that up. So we very, very much should just uh, convert for him. Wait, <laughs> there we go. And uh, this is very cool how they're taking all my trade power over here. Holy war against some other dudes. We lost our holy war. Feels bad, man. And then, so these guys are running down there. Let's grab these guys and those guys and have them come over like that. That makes more sense, right? Let's just see when we can piece this Moravi dude out. Are we losing all our money too, man? Advisor maintenance? Army maintenance. So, are we reinforcing? Mercs? Yeah. They are expensive, that's for sure. Let's see here. Let's, uh... Take like half our guys off that stack so we don't have to pay for all the attrition reinforcements because that's quite a lot of re attrition. So the idea, the reason why I'm converting land for him is that he definitely doesn't have enough manpower to, uh, ooh, burger loyalty. That would allow us to get some free monies too, right? Ooh, geez, OP. Cool. 
So let's go ahead and do that and then just buy some burger loyalty. Uh, Diplo support sounds good. Admin is nice. Uh, take sides in parliament and uh, no corruption. Local autonomy is fine. Don't care about that. Very good. Cool. And with that, we are, how are we really? That is nuts. That is actually nuts. Um, so this is local production efficiency and this is local goods produced. Interesting. So let's go ahead and do that. That's actually when we finish this war up, obviously we're going to get quite a bit. So I'm thinking this right here, because this will allow me to get claims over here. Saklava so broke free, interesting. And then these guys up here are what I want. And then maybe like this this uh, island coastal fort. Eh. Okay, I think this is probably a doable piece. It's gonna take some time though, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get these guys taken out. Let's have you guys assigned to a general. Moravi going down, baby. Alright, very good. I suppose I'll just leave him in the war. Um, Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys. Have you guys split? Let's go with like that. Something like that makes more sense. Uh, we're taking out some loans, but I don't care that much. All right, so we can get this piece right now. We have an extra merchant now. So let's see what we can get from money from him. That is totally fine with me. Add all of that in immediately and core all this up. And just like that, we have what we're looking for there. Um, I was going to go ahead and do that because I don't want to deal with the rebels and we're going to have to anyways. And plus, I'm pretty sure we still get the trade bonuses from it, so it's not actually a big deal. Let's see here. Caramandel. Do we need this anymore? Don't think we do. East Africa we, we have now. So we have two merchants to go with. Ooh. So good. So we can steer from Malacca. And maybe Gujarat or... Hmm. Gujarat? Let's try Gujarat. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get a trade efficiency guy. He's only level 2, but it should be fine. Um... Oh, we don't really need to focus on mill anymore. So I don't know. We should focus mill so we can get our uh, absolutism up once that rolls around. Definitely going to need to get some wars going on with Bamanis. So let's actually get our army transported over there. Might need to recruit a bit more mercs, which is totally understandable. But uh, for now, let's get them over here. I don't think I have a single fort over there, do I? <laughs> Not a one. That's awesome. So let's see here. Just helping him convert. Um, the reason being, he's going to be coring this stuff up, but he doesn't have the admin points to core all this stuff up, right? So we just uh, help him out, you know? See? No unrest in there anymore. It's beautiful. It's also... We have those three cannons there still. But uh, we have a... Mm, let's go ahead and get you guys over here. And go ahead and add those. Very nice. We're going to need to attack Brunei here sometime soon. They have such a crazy hug box over here, man. All of them are allied to each other. So Vijanagar is going to be giving me up the island of uh, Ceylon or um, Sri Lanka in sometime in the near future. Let's see here. This is all five unrest. Overextension is the big one. Probably won't even have the rebels to worry about. 
So I think we're good. Colonialism against C uh, GB. I need to take um, these from him, but uh, we'll get it figured out. So Portugal's on their way. Hmm. So I have claims on all of this land, and we're going to eventually go for it. New Castile is doing pretty good. Let's, they have debt. Let's see here. They have no debt. Very good. And they have no debt. Very good. They have no debt, which is very good. All right. So, until I can beat the French, <laughs> I really can do nothing. That's uh, kind of the truth here. They're allied to Bohemia now. I would have to bring my army around. So it seems like this is this all this is going to be more of an afterthought. Um I can't do this until I finish off until I annex Portugal. I think I need to start annexing Portugal. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Just speed five it for a moment. Go ahead and give them some money. There we go. And we're finishing up a couple of colonies as well. Let's go ahead and recall. Oh, there's not even one there. So these guys are just on their way. Yeah, they're still on their way. Jeez. Take your time, boys. There are no natives that can be attacked here. Two mil, totally fine. Let's go ahead and uh, influence them. We have no diplomat to send, so I'll pull you back. In Marina. Very good. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I would rather just get the claims. So let's see here. Get that claim and uh, get that claim. Call you back as well. And then we're going to start annexing these guys here. Integrate will take 12 years, which we can totally do. And we will attack Balmanis or show superiority, show superiority Holy War. And we will call Delian. There is no possible chance that he can ha handle a fight on two fronts. And let's get these two guys over here. He's going to have some serious firepower, but he has no allies, and there's no chance that he can fight both of them on the same front, or both of us on each front, so I'm not concerned. He has 10 heavies, which is pretty nuts. That's quite a lot. Morocco declared war on Tunis. Our truce with Franks is up. The Franks is what I was trying to say there. Let's go ahead and upgrade our cannons. Speaking of that, we need a few more over here. So let's go ahead and get up to like four and four. Eight in total. That's going to help us with these sieges, obviously, as well as help us get some extra damage from the back row. Uh, innovativeness for clergy loyalty or not. That's fine. Okay. So it looks like they're getting some men up, but it also looks like uh, Delhi has an, an enormous army. So, ooh, Delhi's got 23k cannons. Nutty. That is nutty. Give me those cannons, boy. Get those cannons over here, boy. Come on now. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. Mm. Give me it. Give me those sieges. It's beautiful. Us? Nope, not us. Let's go ahead and get the more get the manpower like I usually do. Come on now. They're giving me all the uh, all the claims, which is beautiful, or all the uh, control, I should say. Speaking of that, let's see here. Yeah, I don't have any marches, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense to uh, give them give any land to my colonial people or anything like that. Though I suppose if I really wanted to, I could make New Castile pay for it. No, Cuba, Rio de Prata. Granada. 
probably just better off just holding it for myself. Oh no, there you go. He gave it back to me. <laughs> I like that. All right, let's see here. Wow. So he's really built up, but I don't see anything major happening. Did I just get some rebels over here? Don't know where those rebels just fired. Let's see here. Madurai? Where's that at? Um, hello. Where are they at? Terunelvi? Oh, come on now. They're literally... Okay, well, that's fine. We can just speed five it till I finish off these forts, and then we'll run down and take him out. He's already lost his capital. He's gonna give me whatever piece I want. He's at war with more people than just myself. This is the beginning of the end for him. I will totally pay for professionalism. It's fine with me. Let's win this siege over here, eh? A little bit of extra attrition for good measure. Attrition to assert dominance. We're now in a regency council, unfortunately, but Palmer is okay, and he will be up to the task here before too long. Hey, very nice. Looks like our colonies are finishing up. Go with some national unrest. Looks like he's at a reduced cost anyways, which is beautiful. We can uh, gladly send some men over into the new world. Um, probably shouldn't spend any Diplo though. Go ahead and recall a few of these guys as well. Send a colonist and send a colonist. And then we can have you guys get brought over here by that little stack. And then, um, very good. Cool. We will finish the war up in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying. Show your support. Leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Let a, leave a comment down below if you have any tips or tricks that you think would be useful for me to understand. Or if you feel, feel like I'm doing something, I could do it better. Um, I'm always excited to hear some constructive criticism from you guys. And uh, with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yudaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.